So I got this welded up. That didn't turn out too bad. I mean, I'm not a real great welder, but as far as TIG welds go, I was going to MIG weld this, but some things were bugging me, and I decided to go ahead and TIG weld it, and I'm glad I did. So you can see how that pocket filled up. So this weld and that weld basically sucks the tool into the cutter into the base here and then I went ahead and got it here and here and so here here and here I used rod across here I didn't use any rod and part of the reason is because I wanted to keep the profile nice and low And after some practice, I practiced with the piece of tool that was cut off and some other steel. And I got all my settings right. And I realized through playing with it that the, the stainless heats up really quick and eats away. So I had to favor this. And then just touching this, you know, quickly. So I was just kind of going back and forth between here and here. But I stayed mostly. I kept the heat on, on the tool here. Came out pretty good. I mean, I'm not Jody from Weldmonger. I, I could have sent this to him and it would have been perfect. But I think these welds are just fine. That one's a little funny because of that mountain. But I'm not a welder, so I mean, the fact that I did this at all. So all that's left is I'm going to put it on the lathe. I'm going to do a spring pass on this diameter. And then I'm just going to lightly touch the face to make sure any warpage or anything raised up is trimmed off of here. And I've got a nice flat surface to... Uh, To sit on there so that's it just a couple operations on the lathe and it's all done I mean honestly I could not be happier with the way these welds turned out so I did the spring pass and refaced this so it's fresh it's ready to be put together Well, the results of the fly cutter, of course, on crappy steel, much like the bench anvil, not so good. But on other types of steel, really freaking great. And that came out really good. Super duper happy with that. So... Um, you know, it has its limitations, but it's going to surface the hamburger grill. Hopefully it'll do something like that instead of something like this. I got a couple other projects for the flight cutter as well, but it's already got my mind thinking about the ideal flight cutter and 
you know, the tool bit that I have in there isn't really what I want, but it's just what I have in my box. So that's what I'm going with. I do have an idea for what I want to use uh, for the next one. So over the winter, I, I will get my bits and pieces going and get some material and buy the tool. And by summertime, I'll be working on uh, version 2.0. Thank <laughs> you.